Hi gamers! Welcome to G Masters USA channel. Pacific Drive is an upcoming survival game developed by Ironwood Studios and published by Kepler Interactive. The game is set in the Pacific Northwest, which the player traverses on foot or in a station wagon as they attempt to find a way to escape. The game uses a first-person perspective, the player must attempt to avoid metal monsters which latch onto their car. The vehicle can be repaired and customized at the player's garage. The game was announced in September 2022 and is scheduled to release for the PlayStation 5 and Windows in February 2024. Here's my opinion about Pacific Drive based on the demos that have been released so far. Until now, several demos of the game have been published, which you can watch by searching on YouTube. As a gamer and after seeing the demos of this game, I decided to share my personal opinion about this game with you. Price The price of this game for the final version on Steam is about $17. This is not a high price. As a result and in the first step, the high price cannot be considered a negative feature for this game. The story of this game is survival. There are many examples of these games. But how the game scenario continues depends on the options available to the player. The management of the game seems to be very extensive. You can make all kinds of decisions. These decisions will ultimately shape your destiny. This is an open map game. You have many opportunities to explore this world and the extent of your success will depend on your decisions. But what system will you need to run this game on computer and laptop? The minimum system requirement is an i5 processor with 16GB of RAM and a 1060 graphics card with a capacity of 6GB. The system recommended by the game is an i7 processor with 16GB of RAM and a 2060 graphics card with a capacity of 6GB or better. I tried to watch all the available demos of this game published on YouTube. When I compare the graphics of the game with, for example, Cyberpunk 2077, I come to the conclusion that Cyberpunk is much better than this game. The movement of the camera, car and game character is not so smooth and the viewing angle seems completely flat. That's why I don't think you need to worry too much about the graphics card. 1060 would be a good option. The conclusion I get is that this game has nothing to say in terms of graphics, as I said before, the main feature of this game is its story. You are in a spooky world. Alone. You have to find a way for yourself to survive and escape. This is a mental game. Also note that this is a first-person game. You must be interested in this style of game to play Pacific Drive. You may be interested in online games and spend all your time playing games where the actions of other players are also effective in shaping the outcome. Like Apex or Call of Duty. I don't think players who are addicted to these types of games will be able to relate well to Pacific Driver. I remember a game called Fahrenheit came out in 2005 and I started playing it right away. I only needed two days to finish this game. At that time there was no news of online games. So spending time on Fahrenheit was fun. But now online games cause excitement and events that cannot be predicted in advance due to creating challenges that are different for each person. For this reason, my first choice is online games, and if I have enough time, I may have a look at offline and single-player games. Of course, this is a personal matter, and the fact that the game is offline or online does not mean that it is good or bad. Here's my opinion about Pacific Drive based on the demos that have been released so far. Pros, very reasonable price. A mysterious and even scary story and world that can be exciting. Open map. You don't need a very powerful system to run. Weaknesses, ordinary graphics with little detail. Single player game. The game is not online. It is likely to be boring. Anyway, as I said, every game with any style will have its fans. This game will be released on February 22, 2024, and I will definitely buy it. For someone who is used to the game, this is a new challenge. I hope you enjoy this game too. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, 
Please subscribe to the G Masters USA channel to be aware of new videos in the future.